So this is the layout as it stands, and I'm not happy with it yet, obviously. So you do this quite a lot when you're making a photo book or a zine, where you're going to kind of just get some stuff down and stuff's going to change. Now, I've zoomed out quite a lot on InDesign. I did that by holding Command and Minus, and that's so I can just sort of scroll through and get a bit of a kind of an overview. Now, at a certain point, I will print this zine out just as a little dummy, just to actually flip through it. But I find just even viewing it in this kind of mode, zoomed out in InDesign, is, start, is, is quite good because you kind of start to feel the flow. And immediately I get to this area, this bit here, these two photos, this one and this one, it's starting to feel quite good. But then it kind of, kind of not so good again. I don't know. It's, it's hard to express, you know, like... It's funny things, isn't it? Like, obviously you can pick it apart why some of it feels better than others or it works better, even the compositions are better or blah, blah, blah. But for me anyway, a lot of this process is quite intuitive. Now, one thing I mentioned was about kind of the different types of layout when you're designing a photo book or zine. And at present, look, I've got one here, which is kind of like a full, full bleed vertical. Then these two horizontal like landscape shots with you know a bit of board around each side then the similar kind of you know landscape composition here but then with a border and then a full bleed portrait and now when i get to these formal portraits every kind of more formal portrait throughout the zine i've done it with a border you see so all these portraits here they're like that apart from this one there's a few like that one that one and that one I've gone for like a full bleed. Um, I'm really not happy with the, this opening shot. I'm gonna have to kind of think about that. I think I'm leaning maybe to having just a weird stay behind barrier shot. Um, but yeah, at the moment the design's very basic and the thing is right, is yeah, you know, you could be a designer thousands to design your photo book for you. And a lot of people, they have that luxury, they can afford to do that. I just can't. Um, and the thing is with a, a good photo book, you know, sometimes with really good photos, you don't need to have that kind of over design. Like it can be it can be how it is. And I think with enough looking at it, enough patience, enough eyes on it and enough honesty, eventually you can lay out something that does does look good. You just got to persevere. So look, um, I need help. I think I'm going to reach out to a few people. I'll export this as a low res PDF and I'm just going to do that now. So I'm going to go up to File, Adobe PDF Presents. Now there's a smallest file size, which I guess you could click, but that makes it so low res it's no good. But we can adapt it, we can change anything. So let's just click smallest file size for now. Uh, Bilderberg low res zine. So I'm just typing the name, I'm going to save it. Now under here, this is all fine, all the range yet, but I'm going to go to Compression. Now at the moment, look. By cubic down, down sampling, 100 pixels or inch to 150. Well, let's make that up to 200. Bring that quality up. And for automatic JPEG, yeah, but let's make it medium. And the grayscale images, well, there aren't any, but let's just do that. I just, you know, I just do that by um, by default. I just do that for whatever reason. Anyway, marks and bleeds. We could put a bleed on it. We don't really have to right now because we're not sending it to print. Color destination, this is interesting. Um, at the moment, I haven't bothered about converting the files or whatever. But anyway, we don't care. Let's just let's just export it for now. While it's exporting, if I click up here, you can see the timer. It's not going to take too long. And what I'll do is I'll send that PDF to some friends and they will view it. And once it's uh, open here, I will drag it into view. Where is it? Where? Is it Bilderberg? There we go. Here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'll zoom out and I'm going to go view, page display, to page view. And now if I just scroll through it, you see, there we go. So now it's my zine. And I'll send this to a few people and just see what they think. Um, as I said, I haven't photoshopped the photos yet at all um, with these kind of you know, reasonably high res scans of medium format negatives. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of dust and scratches and the color cast always wacky because obviously you're shooting on film, the daylight balanced film and, you know, it's never the perfect condition. So the colors are already going to be over the place. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. So I'll be going through this and trying to have a tweak. 
but yeah I'm, I'm not at all happy yet but it's a process okay and all that matters is how it is when you send it to print all of this it just doesn't matter keep playing keep moving stuff around you will get there okay